You'll notice I have no white notes on my phone and I have nothing on the map to show you. This is the first time in a long time that we've had nothing to discuss. Clear skies, Sunday came back, that's the song named after that. We did see the sunshine by mid to late afternoon. We saw some blue skies before the dinner hour and tonight we can actually see the stars shining in the sky. So for my entire viewing area, from Timmins to Shillington, Matheson, Cochrane, Iroquois Falls, Nelly Lake, Smooth Rock Falls, Driftwood, Capus Casing Hearst, Opacetica, Valrita, everywhere that I talk about on my Weather Watch group, nothing to show you tonight. Clear skies, it's a breath of fresh air, although we can see the light blue arrows still moving very slowly, and that means that there's still a bit of a light breeze from the northwest. So the wonderful high of minus 17 is tumbling back down to minus 20 something with the wind chills of minus 30 something again tonight going into your Friday morning as well with a little bit more cloud cover. There is a prediction of variable clouds for your Friday to end the work and for the school week. Just to show you a very quick feature, something called the jet stream. This has been talked about on the Weather Network and Environment Canada for the longest time. It's the driving force, the steering wheel mechanism, it's the guiding path, the highway of where our systems travel around the world, namely North America. It is a frontal boundary that has been locked in position from the Yukon right across the Prairie Provinces and ends right over the U.S. Midwest right here at home as well. It's like a snakes and ladders game. It's a very bent ladder with a downfall or a wind tunnel of cooler air descending from the Arctic Circle guided with this frontal boundary along the, the territories, the eastern Prairie Provinces, and mixes with the jet stream coming out of the U.S. from Texas and Florida, zipping across back towards the maritime provinces here at home, and the rush of air is wrapping around these two lows, one over the Maritimes, the second one over Labrador, and locking into place. So it's a constant wind tunnel that's been descending upon us from the Great White North, way up there for the last week or so, that is maintaining our temperatures below seasonal and so darn cold. Just wanted to show you that cool feature called the jet stream, something that we haven't talked about for the longest time on the show, and now we have. So leaving you with tonight's show is my top three weather events for Northeast Ontario. The upper level winds chart just to show you what's going on way up there. And of course, the historical weather. Thanks for tuning in and keep yourself warm.